Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, two bottles A and B contain mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 and 9 is to 11 respectively. They are mixed in the ratio of 3 is to 4. Find the ratio of milk and water in the resulting mixture. So these type of uh, questions are not very common for the competitive exams, but it is a type of problem which may come and uh, we have to cover this also. So what is the question given? There are two bottles A and B and both these bottles contain mixture of milk and water and the ratio is given. A is having milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 and B is having milk and water in the ratio of 9 is to 11. Now these two are mixed together so a new mixture is formed. A mixture of milk and water and a second mixture of milk and water are mixed together in the ratio of 3 is to 4. So three parts of A and four parts of B are mixed together to form a resulting mixture. So I am representing this resulting mixture by R. So R is formed by mixing 3A and 4B. So we have to find out what is the ratio of milk and water in R. So resultant R is equal to 3A plus 4B. <coughs> so resultant R will be having 3A plus 4B parts of milk and 3A plus 4B parts of water. So the ratio of milk to water in R will be equal to 3A plus 4B of milk to 3A plus 4B of water. Okay, now let's proceed on to do this question. So how to do this? So first we have to find out the milk and water content in A and B respectively. So just we can form a table like this for easiness purpose. So what is the quantity of milk in A? The milk in A will be given as 4 by 5 since the ratio is 4 is to 1 so the, the the quantity of milk will be 4 divided by 4 plus 1 that is 4 by 5 and uh, what is the quantity of water in A it will be 1 by 5 since the ratio 4 is to 1 and what is the quantity of milk in mixture B it will be equal to 9 divided by 11 plus 9 so it will be 9 by 20 and water will be given as 11 divided by 9 plus 11 therefore it will be equal to 11 by 20. Now it's time to find our required ratio. Our required ratio will be given by 3a plus 4b is to milk to 3a plus 4b is to water. So it will be equal to, the required ratio is equal to 3a plus 4b of milk. So it will be equal to 3 into 4 by 5 since in a milk is equal to 4 by 5 plus 4 into 9 by 20 since the quantity of milk in b is 9 by 20 is to 3a plus 4b of water. So it will be equal to 3 into 1 by 5 since the quantity of water in A is 1 by 5 plus 4 into 11 by 20 since 11 by 20 is the quantity of water in B. So we will be getting as, just we can uh, uh, cancel out 4 and 20 and here also we can cancel out 4 and 20. So we will be getting 12 plus 9 by 5 which is equal to 21 by 5. So it will be equal to 21 by 5 is to 3 plus 11 is 14. So 14 by 5 it will be giving us 21 is to 14 which is equal to 3 is to 2 and that is our final answer. Now let's see one more example for this. Milk and water are mixed in a vessel A in the proportion 5 is to 2 and in vessel B in the proportion 8 is to 5. They are mixed in the ratio 7 is to 2. Find the ratio of milk and water in the resulting mixture. The same kind of question. We are having two mixtures of milk and water A and B. And the proportions of water and milk in A and B are respectively given. And these two mixtures are then taken and they are mixed in the ratio 7 is to 2. So R is equal to 7A plus 2B in this case. 7 parts of A and 2 parts of B are mixed together to form the resulting mixture. And we have to find out the milk to water ratio in this resulting mixture. So forming a table as before, we are having A and B and we have to find out the content of milk and water in A and B. And the content of milk in A will be equal to 5 divided by 5 plus 2 since the ratio is 5 is to 2 and the content of water in A will be equal to 2 divided by 5 plus 2 that is 2 by 7 and the content of milk in B will be given as 8 divided by 8 plus 5 since the ratio is 8 is to 5 so it will be equal to 8 by 13 and the content of water will be equal to 5 divided by 8 plus 5 
that is 5 divided by 18. Now we have to find out the required ratio. Ratio will be equal to 7 parts of A. 7A plus 2B parts of milk is to 7A plus 2B parts of water. So it will be equal to 7 into 5 by 7. Uh, since 5 by 7 is the amount of milk in A plus 2 into 8 by 13. Since 8 by 13 is the amount of milk in B is to 7A plus 2B parts of water. So it will be equal to 7 into 2 by 7. Since 2 by 7 is the quantity of water in A plus 2 into 5 by 13. Since 5 by 13 is the quantity of water in B. So we can just cancel out 7 and 7 in the first number and 7 and 7 in the second number. So we will be getting 5 plus 2 into 8 by 13. So 13 into 5 is 65. 65 plus 16 is equal to 81. So this will be equal to 81 by 13 is to here 2 plus 10 by 13. So 13 into 2 is 26. 26 plus 10 is equal to 36. So it will be equal to 36 by 13. So our final ratio is 81 is to 36. We can just cancel out and then we will be getting the answer as 9 is to 4. 9 into 9 is equal to 81 and 9 into 4 is equal to 36. So our final answer is 9 is to 4. Thank you for watching.